Hello everyone, welcome to Best Recipes with Sharon. Today I will be making cookies and cream cheesecake bars. These bars have an Oreo cookie crust, a cookies and cream cheesecake layer with some whipped cream and drizzled with two kinds of chocolate. To get started, you'll need one full package of Oreo cookies and about 12 ounces of cream cheese. And we'll get to the rest of the ingredients as we go along here. Your oven will need to be preheated to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. And you'll need to line an 8 by 8 inch baking pan with some parchment paper and grease the sides. Alright, so let's start now by making the Oreo cookie crust. You will need about 4 tablespoons of unsalted butter melted. Place 24 complete Oreo cookies in the food processor and crush them into fine crumbs. In a medium bowl, mix the Oreo crumbs with the melted butter until they're well combined. Then you'll pour it into a prepared baking dish and press it down evenly to distribute. And place that in the oven to bake for about 10 minutes. Now take three cookies from the rest of the package and set them aside for decorating later. Then place the remaining cookies that are left in the package in a Ziploc bag and crush them. Now these ones we're going to be putting into the actual middle layer in the cream cheese mixture. We just want the cookies chopped in small pieces and not quite so fine this time. So let's get the cheesecake layer together. Take about 12 ounces of cream cheese and mix it in a mixing bowl until it's smooth like this. And this will take about two minutes. You should have the uh, cream cheese softened a bit at room temperature before you start. Now add a third of a cup of sugar to that cream cheese mixture. And now a quarter of a cup of Greek yogurt and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And now one egg plus one egg yolk. Then one teaspoon of vanilla. Now beat this all together until it's well incorporated. It's a good idea to stop the mixer once in a while and scrape down the sides with a spatula. This is where I change it to the whisk attachment and mix it very thoroughly. Now then you take the remaining crushed Oreo cookies, save out about a quarter of a cup for decorating, but pour the rest into the batter and mix it all together. Just use a spoon to fold the cookie crumbs into the mixture. Gently pour the cheesecake batter over the crust and smooth it out until it's nice and even. Now place it in the oven and bake for 35 to 40 minutes or until the center is barely wobbly and the edges are set and very slightly golden. Now this looks like it's done nicely so I'm going to pull it out of the oven and turn it upside down on some parchment paper that I have ready on a cookie sheet. By turning it upside down like this you can cut the squares nice and evenly. Make sure to allow the squares to cool off completely before starting to decorate. The next step will be the whipped cream. I use Cool Whip and I take it and cut it into little individual squares to go on each individual piece. Now to get some chocolate ready and melted, use about a half a cup of semi-sweet chocolate and a half a cup of white chocolate and I melt them in the microwave very slowly. Now let's get on to the decorating touches. So now just sprinkling some crushed Oreo cookies on top of the Cool Whip. I'm just taking two small sandwich bags and snipping a small end off of each of them. You don't need anything too fancy. I'm just going to use these for the piping of the chocolate on top of the squares. So I'm just starting with the milk chocolate first. Then to the white chocolate and just zigzagging back and forth like this letting it fall down over the edge of each of them.
Now then I like to take three Oreo cookies, cut them into quarters, and then I take a quarter and put on each of the squares. Now this is it for today's episode. Thanks for watching and I hope you do this recipe and enjoy it.